Hey all, and welcome to a bit of a different game to find today. Today we're playing some older games and I'll be doing a small series on some older titles. Uh, this one's recently new as well because of the magical words HD and you remember it from probably from your Yorkyarda the Stronghold Crusader or probably from a few years back. I can't remember how long it's been around. So let's have a look. So we're going to Crusader. I can't remember it too much. It's been a long time since I played this because it's just been a long time ago. Uh, so we've got a human player. We can add a computer at the moment. So let's have a look and see what medieval uh, menagerie we've got here. Uh, so we've got an older Marcel guy. We've got quite a few different guys. So let's go with the one with eye packs because eye packs are always quite different. So we've got a dice. I've got no idea what that does, let's click it. And it didn't do anything, can a round table? Because so I've got no idea as well. Set up teams and place random computer opponents. Ah. So we've got normal game, Crusader, Death Max, must go a few troops. I'm gonna go for a normal game. I can't remember anything. So this is gonna work out great, isn't it? Uh so this is a build menu, if I remember so. It's been a long time since I've played this, and I haven't got a mouse on me today. So this is going to be fun on how to move around. So we've got the arrow keys. Ah, that's actually a bit more helpful. And I've just accidentally turned it the wrong way. Which is a bit of a weird setting. I need to find the key. Ah, there we go. We've actually got a rotate key. So instead of looking upside down on the monitor, now I can actually look in the right way. This is probably an unsuitable way. Looking upside down to play a game like this. So I've just built a few stockpiles. And we need to get a woodcutter. So we can build that up and a stonemason to get our first resources in the game. And if you remember right, there's some stone and we need to get one of these carts to move it around. I do actually remember a bit of it. It's just been such a long time since I actually played the original that I can't remember everything about this game. Right, so if I remember right, farms can only be placed on uh, farmland. So we can put that dairy farm there. And um, we can put an apple farm, so let's put an apple. As I say, it's been recently released in HD, along with an amazing game uh, called Space Colony. I was absolutely fixated upon that in my youth, and that was an absolutely great game. So if you've got the time, you should check it out if you haven't ever played it. I will do need to try and find out how to be able to record that, because I've not been able to successfully do it yet on uh, my recording software and that guy's actually already built up quite the base with enough armor troops to actually kill me so yeah I need to get building dead quick uh, so let's see I don't know how the computer actually does it in that kind of speed unless I'm just an absolute terrible gamer then I've got no idea although building is quite quick in this game although I'm fastly running out of stone so that is about the biggest wall I could build which is absolutely bloody useless. Uh, so I can't build a barracks I bet because I need stone. So now how's that stone mason going? He's actually doing alright but I think I need another one and I've actually run out of wood now and I guess the woodcutter needs wood to actually build which is quite in a bit of a ball ache. Ah, so I have actually got some soldiers. I have actually got some men which is quite surprising because normally I just fail on the first hurdle and I've got a guest so I suppose I suppose you can just do a few dances an interpretive dance uh, to distract the enemy otherwise I might have a full army against my butt which is probably going to happen right now with all this army slowly going down towards my base which is typical so can you they haven't used any of the arses, I don't think, so I've got the actual handicap of being able to use my arses, which is a bit silly of them not to include the arses in this fight, because I'm just going to slowly pick them off one by one. They're actually destroying my bloody wall, the bloody thieves. They're bloody destroying my bloody wall. I've only just built that bloody wall, now they're bloody knocking it down. Alright. I've actually just seen some arrow fire, and I've got no idea where it's coming from. Ah, it's coming from over there, I think. 
I've got no idea that woodcutter is actually throwing down some pretty mean arrows. And so it's not the woodcutter. I don't know whose stupid idea was to place us right in each other so that we fight straight away. But yeah, that's pretty much my look in these kind of games. As I say, everything on the games you find is pretty much live. We do do some editing, although we do like it ad libbed at times, depending on what we're doing. Uh, so that is an actual guard tower. Oh, shit, they've actually built a guard tower. Uh, yeah, I need to move them back and then build one myself. Uh, I've got no idea how to get back into that menu. Uh, nope, that's not actually even actually helping me. Uh, so I'm guessing we can build a small guard tower. Uh, so looking at this, we can actually build bakery. It's not going to help much. Uh, I'm trying to find something to kill, not something to bake. Uh, I can build that, but it still doesn't... As we need arses, and our miles is are pretty much toast. Uh, could build that thing, which looks pretty awesome. There we go. This is the lamest castle ever. It's how I actually probably build any Minecraft castle. Uh, so there we go. Their castle does actually look a bit more advanced than mine because of the stupid rust I had to do to try and save everybody. Uh, we can have the mercenary post, it's probably helpful right now. And to get how much gold have we got? 2,000. Yeah, we're going to need some. Uh, so let's buy some. Okay, we've got zero available. Ah, okay, we need some peasants. And which is absolutely great because they've all gone into other roles. So yeah, my men are fed, but they get the dengue of arrows da daily. So yeah, that's great news. Right. So you're more likely to die by a falling arrow than being out of bread. So yeah, go me. Great, I was thinking food wise. Instead of actually helping my men in this fight. Hopefully my asses will be able to snipe them off from over there. While my peasants slowly wither away. Like the peasants they are. Ugh, this is terrible. Why do actually all my games on Games Defined always seem to end up in me failing in one way or another? I wonder if I can move this guy. This guy is actually more important, Harry. Oh, I see I can get another bowman. And actually we can get another as well. Get a few. They've all been trapped inside that castle for some reason. Which is probably getting out of the way, but you probably need to get in here and help me out. Because otherwise I'm going to die. Uh. Looking around, we can actually move them up, but they're not actually moving. Come on, you can move. Okay, they're being obstinate now. Okay, they've actually just moved some spearmen over there, which is quite a worrying some thought. Uh, I'm absolutely gonna die in this, aren't I? Like that wasn't already known. Okay, move them up. And this is actually quite a white watch. Even getting more food than me, I don't know even how they've done this. Wow. This is actually quite a white watch. I need to actually get better at this. A lot of this is first looks. Although I have played this before. And the f near the time it first came out. I've got no idea what that guy's doing. Although I know he's quite important and if I lose him, it's the end of the game. So I better move him back. Even though I've got no chance of winning this bugger anyway. Uh. Okay, we've got to have some ninjas. Ninjas can sort this problem out. Ninjas can sort any problem out. Right. Go on, you pack of assassins. And we get to this problem. Uh, that guy seems he can't die, so that's pretty great. At least I've actually got someone there that can't actually die, hopefully. With a bit of luck, it seems to get to be taking on this many guys without even breaking a sweat. I mean, these ninjas are invisible, so they actually have been seen, which is completely against our point of being a ninja. So they are quite bad at being a ninja. I need to burn all these apple trees down. I've got no idea how they managed to do that. Uh, let me have a look what else I've got here. There must be something I can do to help us out. 
Uh, we can build an arm. Oh, that's going to be useless, isn't it? Uh, we can build a barrack. Oh no, can't build a barrack. You need more stone. I bet my stone people. Yep. My horse. No. Actually, I've got some remaining down there. But there's quite a few with a cross on, so that means I've still got some men doing stone, but most of them have been destroyed. Okay, I can't get over there because there's a moat. Yeah, I think we're actually going to have to surrender from this. So yeah, this has been me failing. Uh, Stronghold 2, Crusader, HD. If you want to know more, I'll put the link in the description below. I've been absolutely useless. Basically, although I haven't explained it because of this massive uh, problem over there, that this game is about food management and building up a base and also against other enemies that seem to be suiting me like mad. He had a quite a fun editor as well. And it was one of the, indie, it was one of the uh, older games that I really, really enjoyed. And it's made by Flyfly. So yeah, my guy's just going to go down in a pack of arrows. He's probably taking more arrows to the knee than he has got knees.